Hey there, good morning everyone. Thursday the 30th of March 2023. This morning's devotional is a reading from the book of Ephesians chapter 4, reading verses 26 and 27, and they read, In your anger do not sin, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Anger is a natural human experience. And sometimes there are valid reasons to get angry, like feeling hurt by something someone may have said or did, or even experiencing frustration over a situation at home or work. But uncontrolled anger can be problematic for your personal relationships and for your health. Everyone at some stage in life gets angry. Anger is commonly misunderstood as something that someone's done to us by others, or by circumstances. And we say, I just couldn't help it. They pushed my buttons, or they made me do that. And that sounds more like Adam in the Garden of Eden, when he said to God, the woman you gave me here made me do it. When it comes to anger, here's what we need to know. It isn't a psychological disorder. Everybody gets angry. And it is not necessarily a sin. Like a fast-flowing river, it can generate constructive or destructive energy and can be unleashed negatively, like someone pulling a trigger on a machine gun and then just firing randomly. Or it can be harnessed positively, like someone that uses that energy for a constructive purpose. Since the fall which took place in the Garden of Eden, we have claimed to be victims of people, the devil, and circumstances beyond our control. And it's a belief that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, causing us to feel helpless and at the mercy of external forces. So, what did the scriptures say about our anger? Sensible people control their temper. That means when sensible people get angry, they control their emotions, no matter what the external trigger is. The answer is always an internal response. Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23 remind us that the fruit of the Spirit is self-control. So staying filled with God's Spirit is the key to anger management. Instead of feeding your anger by telling yourself, you can't get away with treating me like that, try thinking, no matter what you say or do, God's Spirit lives in me and I have self-control. Once again, Scripture reminds us in Titus chapter 2, verses 11 and 12, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. He teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. So learn to control your anger or it will control you. My dear friends, we will get angry, but remember that when you're angry, it's easy to feel that things are worse than they really are. You can learn to manage your anger and replace unhelpful negative thoughts with more reasonable ones. So instead of thinking everything is ruined, we could, for example, think this is frustrating, but it is not the end of the world or the end of the road. Wow, anger management is an issue that many deal with. So my prayer is, may the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Goodbye.